Hello everyone, this is The Vortex. Today I'll be showing you guys how to make a simple node.js discord bot that you can host anywhere. For the sake of this tutorial, I'll be hosting it on my very own PC. To start off, you'll need to obviously download node.js. Once the download is complete, open up the setup. Click on next. 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 Install. Great! Node.js has been successfully installed. Click on finish. Alright, so the next step will be to actually make a folder in which we will store our bots code. So I'm just gonna type um, spice. There you go. That's gonna be the name of our bot. And what we're gonna do is make a blank dot JSON. Not not JSON. My bad. Uh, GS file. So to do this, you'll make a new raw text document don't even have to rename it or something you open up you can type like I don't know hi you do folder save as and then you can name it the name for example of your bot so it's gonna be called spice and then you're gonna make you're gonna check all folders in the type category and then you're gonna type .gs save all right so for some reason that I do not understand I cannot import node modules so what I'm gonna do is simply uh, copy um, the modules I already had on the previous bot and I'm gonna link it down in the description uh, below So now that we have our node.js installed, our script editor installed, and our blank file and modules installed too, it's now time to actually create the bot online. So first of all, you're going to start by logging into discordapp.com and then you're going to click on new app so you're going to name your bot however you want to call it so I'm going to call it spice and redirect URLs you don't have to do that and you're going to create the app so as you can see you have your client ID right here and your client's secret that you must never ever reveal on the internet. Um, URLs right there. App description not you not needed. App icon I'm not gonna put one, but you can put whichever icon you want. And now to actually have a working bot on your server, you're gonna have to click on create a bot user and then it's gonna pop up this thing and you're gonna say yes do it do it spice you are alive so there and one final thing you're gonna click on public bot and you're gonna save the changes so there you have now set up your bot 
So now entering into the most interesting um, aspect of the bot is actually writing in the script. So what we're going to do is open up Atom. We're just going to close this project folder. You're going to click on File. Add project folder and then you're going to select the folder in which the script is put in so there on my desktop spice so now uh, this is why I prefer atom over for example notepad plus plus is that you can have all your files in a tree like this and this is so simple to use so yeah so now you're gonna click on spice.js it's gonna open up and you know when I wrote hi I'm gonna er erase that and write const discord equal require parentheses into some um how's that thing called again yeah that thing <laughs> discord.js so that's gonna require the discord gs um, modules in the node modules right there so that thing yeah so now what you're gonna write is const client equal new discord dot client parentheses there so what it's gonna do is gonna create a constant that you can always recall that is called client you can also call it bot but for the sake of it I'm just gonna keep it like this um, for all the lazy people out there I'm gonna probably gonna put it up in a file so you can download it and copy paste So what I just did is some simple um, variables that are going to be used um, when you're launching your bot. So you don't, it's just to require uh, HTTP and HTTPS uh, from websites. Now the really interesting um, variable they're going to use is called var, you're going to name it token, but it can be anything else. And what you're going to put in is your bot token. So if you look right there, I have this token, which I will not reveal. And what you're going to do is you're going to copy it and you're going to paste it right here. There you go. So that's like all the setup the bot needs. And what we're gonna write now is actually when we're gonna type in the command to activate the, our bot on the machine, it's gonna respond us a message. And to do that, 
we're going to type in You're going to write in console.log and then the message is going to say. So I'm going to make it say bot operational. So basically, what this is going to do is that when the bot is detected as ready it's gonna write in the command prompt in which you're gonna launch the bot is gonna write what you've written right there and the final thing you're gonna write to finish this basic setup is the actual login of the bot And now that's where our variable token comes in play. So instead of writing in here the whole token that's like actually looking like this, literally, you simply have to write token and you're good to go. This will basically um, detect and uh, identify um, your bot with his uh, special token that is unique to that particular bot. We are almost done. There are only two last steps before we're actually done. And one of them is actually inviting your bot onto your server so what you're gonna do is open a new tab and you're gonna copy paste the link that I put in the description and where it's written your bot ID what you're gonna do is you're gonna go back on your developer um, application page and this client ID right there you're gonna copy it And you're gonna paste it at the place of your bot ID right there and then you press enter and voila spice wants to join a server so we're gonna select um, this server right there and you you don't touch to this you just keep it like this let spice have an existential crisis and you're gonna authorize the bot onto the server i am definitely not a robot even though spice is voila spice is now authorized on my server so if i come and look in my server we have Spice who is offline and the final step to follow is now to activate Spice. So to do so you open up a command prompt right here and now what you're going to do is you're going to open up the folder in which um, the GS script is writ is uh, situated. You're gonna click on this bar right here. You're gonna Control C. You're gonna copy this. You're gonna go back on the command prompt. You're gonna type cd dot space not dot just space Control V. 
and you're gonna enter so now you are from the command prompt you are writing well you're actually executing commands from this situation in the computer and not like the general spot so now you what you're gonna type in is node space the name of the gist script it doesn't care about the capitalization though so spies dot gs and you're gonna hit enter and that's where we're gonna see if it works does it work it doesn't work let me fix this <laughs> So there you have it, how to make a simple node.js discord bot in only 7 steps. I'll post in the description a link to a guide in which all the links are with the code. I hope you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and all that jazz, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace out.